Welcome back, you're live with Expresso, and we are about to inspire you with two incredible young stars. Move over, Venus and Serena Williams. We've now got two brothers coming from South Africa who have announced their scene on the local, or announced their arrival on the local tennis scene in a big way. In fact, you have to see them to believe them. Here are the Monsi brothers. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old Sipos and fifteen-year-old Kolo are the Monsi brothers, and they're aiming to be the next big thing in South African tennis. Well, my love and passion uh, for tennis began when I was around like nine, ten years old. Um, I was very good at other sports such as cricket and soccer. Those are, soccer was my first love, but tennis was just like something different. And I think I just fell in love with the sport. And I think the more I played, the more I realized that you know I can actually make this a career be really good at it. I saw my brother traveling a lot and I decided I want to travel as well. So I started playing tennis at the age of seven. Growing up, uh, I didn't have any pressure of following in my brother's footsteps. We did compete a bit, but I also realized I think I should just focus on my path and maybe follow him as, as he was doing well. So I thought maybe I should work a bit harder just like him and maybe I'll be just as good. <laughs> One day. <laughs> My biggest highlight so far, I guess, would probably be at the Australian Open earlier this year. That was my first Junior Grand Slam, um, which is a very big achievement for me. Um, it's obviously the biggest tournament in junior tennis around the world. I got recognition from Andy Murray's mother, just telling me that I'm the most talented player she's ever seen. And obviously that felt good, and that motivated me to work harder. And one of the other achievements for me every day is just inspiring um, other kids, inspiring my brother as well. My biggest highlight so far was recently at the Digital Futures. I made my first ATP point and I was the youngest in the tournament. So I felt really good getting my first point in singles and in doubles and my first Futures, which is the start of the year. So I think that would be my best achievement in my tennis career. My family is probably like the reason why I still play the sport today. My parents sacrificed a lot. My mom um, has quit a job to move here with us. You know, she even uh, took some of her money for, from a pension just to send me to Australia, which, which I'm really grateful for, you know, and I don't think there's anybody else in the world who do that for me. And my father also quit his job just so that I could play the sport and travel around the world, which really means a lot to me and my brother as well. Um, because, I mean, there aren't a lot of parents that make sacrifices like that for their children. The brothers have half scholarships waiting at the prestigious IMG Academy in the USA to further their development, and they already follow a rigorous training program. Our training schedule um, is pretty tough. It's a pretty tough program. We start early in the morning at uh, 9.30. We start playing tennis uh, for two hours until 11.30. And after that, we go to the gym at 12 o'clock for an hour, and we finish that at 1 o'clock. And at 1 o'clock, we have lunch, and 2.30, we play tennis again for two more hours, till 4.30, and at 5 o'clock, we have fitness uh, on the court, on court movement. We have that for an hour, and then we have a 30 minute, 30 to 45 minute stretching session, and then we are finished, that's our day. Well, uh, we've made a lot of sacrifices, especially not like visiting friends and like going on vacation for as long as uh, some of my other friends. It's been tough, but I guess it's also been worth it. I mean, tennis has like taken a lot of, away from us, but it's also given us a lot at the same time. So I think the f sacrifices are worth it. Tennis has really given us a life and we really don't mind making those sacrifices. Of course, there's also friendly competition between the brothers, but they are supportive of each other's goals. Kolo has his eyes set on winning crucial tournaments that open the doors to professional tennis, while Sipos aims to improve his physicality for competition in a higher age group. My advice for any up-and-coming tennis players is keep working hard, don't stop, listen to your coaches and just enjoy the game. Don't focus on winning only. Sometimes we'll have to learn how to lose and that'll be part of the process. With razor sharp focus and a deep passion for their sport, these brothers can be the flag bearers of the new golden generation of tennis in South Africa.